Welcome to the Johnson Victrola Museum. For most people, Elder Dreves Johnson does not ring a bell. He is the person who started Victor Records and Victor Talking Machine Company. Mr. Johnson was from Dover. That's one of the things that we are so proud of here, is a man who did so many great things, who has very little name recognition. When he was a young man, he was attending school here at the Dover Boys Academy, which is now Wesley College. Unfortunately, upon his graduating or finishing school, his parents were given the bad news that their son was not really bright enough to go on to college. They sent him to mechanics school. He learned all of the intricate details of mechanics. That later helped him out tenfold because there was a gentleman who came to him with a device that played music. You had to wind it, and as you wound it, it actually played music. So he said, I think I can improve on that. And so he invented a, a spring wound motor, and he placed that on the machine, and then you crank the machine up. As the motor wound down, the record would play. The rest is history. Mr. Johnson, he lived in a time where the only time you heard music is if someone was playing it live. He loved music and he felt that everyone should have access to music whenever they want it. Music became an integral part of daily life, not just here in America, but literally in the lives of people all over the world. We're looking at the first quarter of the 20th century. He built the plant in Camden. It encompassed over 10 city blocks. He employed over 10,000 people. He had this great ability to market, starting with his famous logo, the famous His Master's Voice painting, and it became one of the most famous logos in the world. The dog Nipper, who was in the painting, he took on a life of his own and became, you know, one of the most significant international icons of probably that time period. The first inventions were tabletop machines, and then a lot of housewives said that the horns are big and unsightly and they collect dust. And they came up with the idea, let's turn the horn around, stick it inside of a decorative wooden box. We'll call that the Victrola, which is what happened. The history of the Grammy actually starts here. We have a Grammy that Mr. Johnson was awarded posthumously, but the reason why they call it a Grammy is because that's short for gramophone. And if you actually look at the Grammy award itself, it is one of Victor's little tiny machines on a pedestal. The message that I want to give to all people who come to this museum is just because you have people who don't think that you're very smart or that you have good ideas does not mean that you are not destined to do great and wonderful and extraordinary things. Mr. Johnson, he touched the lives of people all over the world and it started here. I'm Shirley Men. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.